Welcome to the National Institute for Health Research Clinical Research Network. Want to know more about how clinical research in the UK is organised? You're in the right place. The UK is one of the world leaders in clinical research, but the large number of different agencies involved in clinical research in the UK can be very confusing. As Thames Valley CRN Research Fellows, we have put together this animation to try and explain all of their different roles and responsibilities. By the end of the video, we'll have introduced you to most of the key organisations involved in clinical research in the UK. You'll learn about Administration and organisation Funding Regulation Local support services and where to learn more. What is the NIHR? The National Institute for Health Research, or NIHR, is a huge organisation funded by the government through the Department of Health and Social Care to increase the health and wealth of the nation through medical research. The NIHR is the nation's largest funder of health and care research and is the most integrated healthcare research system in the world. The NIHR has a number of key aims, including funding and supporting clinical research, management and governance of day-to-day -day clinical research activity, recruitment, training and education of researchers, and ensuring that the patients and the general public are always at the heart of what goes on in clinical research. There are 15 clinical research networks, each of which cover a different region of England. Each region has its own team of dedicated NIHR support staff. Each CRN itself consists of six divisions, which represent a total of 30 different specialties. For example, Division 4 looks after mental health, dementia and neurological disorders. Your local CRN can direct you to the right team for your specialty. They can help overcome administration challenges, help with research training and put you in touch with exactly the right people you need to help get your research started in your area. All CRNs talk to each other and have regular national meetings to discuss new studies and troubleshoot issues in each region. The NIHR's 20 Biomedical Research Centres (BRCs) are collaborations between world-leading universities and NHS organisations. These centres fund and organise what is often called translational research, bringing together academics and clinicians to turn lab-based scientific breakthroughs into potential new treatments, diagnostics and medical technologies. Who pays for research in the UK? Funding for healthcare research in the UK comes from a range of different sources. Sometimes the funders are trying to answer a specific question or support a specific kind of research. Each funder has a particular area of research that they will fund, though some are broader than others and they may overlap. The Medical Research Council mostly focuses on early scientific discovery. The NIHR itself funds a wide variety of clinical research, mostly focusing on the treatment of patients and their illness. Many charitable organisations also fund clinical research in the UK. Much clinical research in the UK is actually paid for by commercial funding sources from industry, for example, drug companies or those making medical equipment. Most universities, some specialist professional societies, and NHS Trust themselves also have budgets and grants available for clinical research. Often, these are smaller projects which provide background data to apply for big grants from larger funding bodies. All clinical research has to be carefully regulated to make sure it is worthwhile and will not cause harm to anyone involved in the study. The main way this is done in the UK is through the Health Research Authority, a part of the NHS whose core purpose is to protect and promote the interests of patients and the public in health and social care research. In order to achieve this, the HRA makes sure all research projects are reviewed and approved by its Research Ethics Committee, or RECS, who discuss each proposal and consider ways in which it may harm the patients involved. The MHRA, or Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, regulates medicines, medical devices and blood components for transfusion in the UK. All research in health or social care must have a formal sponsor. This is an individual, company, institution or organisation that takes on responsibility for the initiation and management of the research. In practice, this is usually an NHS trust through the Research and Development Department or a university or maybe a private company if the project is a commercial one. Once a sponsor is identified, 
researchers are able to submit the Integrated Research Application System form, or IRAS form, to the HRA, who can then arrange for the study to have an ethical review. A number of different support services exist to help researchers improve the quality of their research and successfully fund and complete their studies. The Research Design Service is another part of the NIHR which can help you design your research and find funding for your project. Each region has their own team of highly experienced researchers, including statisticians, health economists, qualitative researchers and more, who can give guidance through all parts of the research design process. Patient and public involvement is an important part of improving the quality and relevance of clinical research. Most significant studies now have some input from PPI groups in their design before they start. Every hospital has a research department, R&D or R&I, that can support you and help you navigate research in the NHS. You can also contact your CRN specialty leads for further advice. We hope you have a better understanding of how clinical research works in the UK and how you can get involved. What are your next steps? If you are new to research, register for an NIHR Learn account where you can find face-to-face -face and online good clinical practice training as well as other research courses all for free. If you have a research idea but need help with how to design a study, you can speak to your local research and design service. And everyone should consider joining their local NIHR CRN mailing list for more courses, funding and training opportunities. Good luck and thanks for watching.